Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to cover an exciting topic, interesting, and that is five things to do with your tea besides brew it and drink it. Now this might sound weird because obviously we usually want to brew and drink our tea, but every now and then you'll get a tea that for whatever reason or another, you might not want to do that. So let's dive into some cool things we can do with our tea to have some fun with it. If you're new to the channel, hey, I'm Phil. At Gen Tea, we specialize in tasting grade Chinese tea. You can check out our website in the link down below and see a full selection of amazing uh, Chinese tea of all varieties. On our YouTube channel, we cover things like tea travel, Sunday tea book, uh, vlog, how to brew, and much, much more. So be sure to click the subscribe button and click the notify bell so you'll know whenever we create a new video. So if we're not going to brew our tea or steep it and drink it, the number one thing that I love to do with tea is to eat it. That's right, eat it. So there's various things you can do with tea to integrate it into your meal. Probably my personal favorite is to use it to make delicious tea eggs. Um, if you've never tried a tea egg, be sure to check the links down below again for our YouTube video on how to prepare a tea egg and I strongly recommend you try it. These little eggs, uh, well, you can use them however you want, just snack around the house, but we actually often camp, pack them as, a, as hiking snacks or take them camping with us um, and eat them in the first couple of days. Super delicious way to enjoy tea and an egg. Another way that you can use tea to eat is to mix it up with other herbs and use it as a seasoning for meat. Um, this is uh, more subtle perhaps than the tea egg, but also a delicious way to ingest your tea. Eating is probably one of the more common alternate uses of tea. So if you guys have any ways that you use tea in food preparation or you eat it, uh, let us know in the comments down below. We'd love to uh, hear about those, maybe even exchange some recipes. Our next way to use tea is kind of interesting. Have you ever ended up with a tea that, hmm, Maybe you just kind of didn't want to drink it for whatever reason. I think that's happened to all of us at one point or another. So here's a great thing to do with that tea. You can use it to uh, absorb odors. For exactly the same reason we have to be fairly prudent when we store tea, we can actually reverse that concept and use it to absorb unwanted odors purposely. Of course, we won't be drinking this tea at any point in time. So. First, for tea storage, if you're new to that, check out the video in the link down below. We have a great video on how to uh, best store your tea to make sure it, it stays uh, fresh for as long as possible. Well, stays fresh and even ages properly. Um, now, for absorbing odors, of course, you're going to want to do exactly the opposite of what we say in that video. And that is, you don't want to seal your tea. You want to leave the tea open in a spot where maybe there's some odors that you want to get rid of. For example, maybe your sock drawer, uh, certainly not my sock drawer, but maybe yours. No, just kidding. Maybe in your sock drawer, maybe in a closet, uh, under the sink with the garbage can, wherever, the fridge, whatever. You just simply take that unwanted tea, leave it in a container open, maximizing the surface area, you know, shallow dish, spread it out and let it sit there and tea will do its job and absorb those unwanted odors. Of course, similar to baking soda or any other odor absorber, once it's kind of used up, you'll need to replace it with a fresh batch so that those odor, odors keep on getting out of the way. Another great way to use tea is to use it as a kind of incense or maybe potpourri would be a better description. And that is you simply take the tea, uh, put it in a bowl with a little bit of water and pop a candle under it and let it fill the room with its delightful aroma. Um, personally, I love to do this with uh, Taeguanyin Classic after we've brewed it. Um, but of course you can do this with a tea that is fresh too, that you maybe just want to have that booming aroma, a fresh tea or another thing to do with your spent leaf to get the most out of your tea uh, and make your room smell absolutely delightful. One thing to keep in mind when you use this technique is the aroma you get in the room might not perfectly match with the flavor and aroma you're used to when you're tasting the tea. So you'll want to experiment with this a little bit and find teas that generate a pleasant aroma that you, that you like to have around. Some of them may not be as delightful. So play with it. And if you already do this or if you try this out at home and you have 
uh, a favorite, let us know what it is uh, so we can, uh, we can try it out here. The next thing that you can do with tea that is, I find quite interesting and may catch a few of you off guard is that you can use it for skincare. That's right, skincare. You may think, hey, he's a dude, he, what does he know about skincare? Look at my skin. Obviously, I have my skincare system under control. So tea saponins are actually a mild cleanser and that's what makes tea great for this job. Um, th there's two ways that uh, I use tea as a skincare product. One is you make a sort of a strong, a hefty strong brew and you can just keep that in the fridge and use that like a toner in the morning when, when you're doing your skincare routine. I hope you all have a skincare routine. And um, another way that I use it, especially when I'm camping or I'm not able to really uh, you know, wash my face properly is I'll use a wet cloth with some tea on it to just kind of wash my face. Again, taking advantage of those, that saponin in tea to cleanse my face. So if you knew about this, let me know down in the comments, but uh, I find this is a pretty intriguing use for tea that many people don't really realize is out there. So yeah, let me know if you've been using tea as skincare as well. The fifth and final way that I use tea around the house is probably not going to be overly shocking and that is gardening. That's right. There's two ways that I can take advantage of tea, my tea habit, my tea culture, my tea life <laughs> to, uh, to enhance my garden. One is probably the most obvious. Many of you probably already do this uh, because there's municipal composting in many towns around uh, North America and the world and that is throw your used leaf in the compost. We actually throw that into our personal compost. We don't give that away to the municipality and we make our own compost. Tea is very rich in nitrogen, which is of course excellent for your garden. The other one, which is a little bit more subtle and hopefully this is helpful for you guys, is we use our tea water that we collect under our tea table over time to water the garden. Especially for acid loving plants, this water is uh, full of all kinds of nutrients and has that slight acidity that certain um, garden plants just love. Well, that wraps up our five alternate uses for tea. Uh, if I've missed some that you employ in your daily tea life, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear what everyone's doing with their tea when they're not drinking it. Very interesting. Please don't forget to click that thumb up. It really helps the channel grow. Click the subscribe button and the notify bell so you'll know whenever we make new content. And guys, until next time, keep steeping.